Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here, and welcome down the nook. It's Saturday, so I want to shoot a review with you guys. And uh, I just kind of started my palate into bourbon again when I was tasting and sipping and thinking what I wanted to shoot for National Bourbon Day last Tuesday. So let's stay with bourbon. I want to talk to you about a reasonably new bourbon to uh, the landscape, and this is from Rabbit Hole. It's coming to my market maybe a few months ago, but I haven't had it long. Um, but this is their, I think it used to be just their straight bourbon, uh, whereas now it's got a Cave Hill name on it. But anyways, you know, this is uh, a bourbon out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. If you have a little rabbit hole, when you pour some, if not, when you pour anything, that's a weeded bourbon if you have. And when you come back, I'll nose and taste and we'll talk rabbit hole, Cave Hill straight bourbon. Three, four. Thanks for, thanks for coming back. Um, I think it's a pretty cool looking bottle. It's got, you know, a little eye candy here to draw our attention, but uh, I didn't know that much about Rabbit Hole. So of course, like any of you, I'm hitting the internet and they have a pretty cool documentary they put out themselves that really walk through, um, I think Cave Zamanian, I'm not sure how to say his name, is the master distiller and really the, the, the mind behind Rabbit Hole. And, uh, and it really shows, you know, going after what is kind of a unique mash bill. So, you know, if we look at this, it's 47.5% uh, and it is 10% uh, malted wheat, 10% malted barley, and 10% uh, honey malted barley, malted honey barley, can't remember. But so it's, uh, you know, 30% malt and 70% corn. And there's no rye, which is why I said if you have a weeded bourbon, that's probably going to be your closest uh, idea here. So it's a four grain, small batch uh, bourbon. It is uh, made probably in Louisville, Kentucky. And actually the, the distillery um, promo also talked about um, a family owned cooperage that, uh, that really they got involved in. And I believe they, they toast and then char their barrels, char number three. So it's a little bit about it. Do a bit of research yourself. It's a pretty good documentary. It's actually uh, like it's a nice watch. So why don't you do that? And uh, but stay with me right now while we just taste the whiskey and see what we think. Oh, it's a nice nose. It draws me in. It's a little nutty. It's uh, you know a little little cinnamon, little spices. Uh, it's got some vanillas. If I stay in it, I, I get some 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 almondy notes. It's, you know, I don't know how old it is. I'm going to guess somewhere around four years. Um, but it can be a little bit ethanol, a little bit alcohol, a little bit bitter tannin. Plays a bit in the background. But if I stay with it, I get back into some really nice uh, sweet oaks, um, honey caramels. And, and a little bit of spicing, but it's not immediately prickly or anything like that out of the nose. Let's try on the palate. Cheers. For me, it's on the palate that this bourbon actually shines. It's got some depth to it. It's, it's, um, Yes. What, what was I saying on the nose? Like, like we'll, we'll continue that into saying some nice sweeter oaks, some, some bready caramels, some, mm, like it, it just, it coats well. It, it, it holds up flavors in the mouth. Now there's a little bit of spicing, um, but it, it just, I just find it quite expressive, quite flavorful, a little more on the sweet, not a lot of fruits, um, but not over oaked, just a sweet, a sweeter, Toasted marshmallow oak. I need another little sip. Yeah, I'm gonna stay where I ended. Little sweeter caramels, a little little um, honey almonds, a little a um, uh, little toasted graham cracker. Um, I really like the palette. The finish is. Um, 
It's decent. It it plays down into some char. It it has a few flaws like the nose for me in that it can play in and out of this almost tannic or bitter a little bit of astringency going on. It's not it's not like all over the place. But there's just edges of that. But it can fade in and out and I can get back into those roasted marshmallows. I um I haven't spent all that much time with this bottle, but I'm liking it a lot. Um, probably more than uh, than you're maybe getting off my uh, critiques because I'm trying to keep myself constrained. However, I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, we'll see where it goes, but I'm over four on this, which is a very high rating. Um, it's This is an excellent bourbon, and I really recommend, especially if... Uh, you're thinking of something to get father and Father's Day and they like whiskey. Um, this is a really nice bourbon. And I, I'm sad that I haven't got into it earlier, but I did manage to get it for 25% off. So nothing wrong with waiting a little bit. As I said, you know, this is in essence a weeded bourbon. I know there's more to it, but so I thought, what do I have on the shelf? And I don't have any uh, weeded bourbons that are, you know, this is, you pay a little bit more for this. Uh, this is just the standard release of Maker's Mark. But, you know, Maker's Mark, um, I think, is about 16% wheat, 14 barley, and then the balance of corn. So 70 corn for both of them. Probably similar age. Might be a little older because they're a bit bigger. They, they can lay down stocks. Let's see how, in this sitting, uh, the very affordable uh, weeded Maker's Mark is. Sweeter. Light cherry, maraschino cherry. In contrast, a little bit of um, like more of that roasted um, light cocoa, gentle espresso notes, just in contrast. Back on the makers. Yeah, it's, it's sweeter, uh, more confectionery sugar, maraschino cherry. There's still cinnamons, vanillas, uh, typical makers for me. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Interesting. It doesn't have the depth um, that I get in here, the, the, the roasted and the full flavors and the toasted almonds, but I am getting almost um, more, more charred oak a little more cinnamon, and as I said, a little bit of cherry spice, uh, not spice, cherry sweetness, maraschino sweetness. Um, so it has edges uh, that almost uh, poke higher, if I might, but a richness and a fullness uh, is present here in the Cave Hill that I'm not getting in Makers. Um, for me, this Makers, it, it almost has a lot of promise uh, and it doesn't quite deliver, but then again, this is probably about half the price of this. So, you know, that should be considered. Uh, for me, this is all the way down to, I know, I know there's so many fans out there, but really it's like three and a quarter for me, three to three and a half. Um, whereas this is over four, which is really quite a, quite a strong rating. Thanks for joining me here. Uh, it's early thoughts a little bit, but I am already willing to certainly say as I have, uh, check it out. Check out Rabbit Hole. Check out this Cave Hill. It's the only expression I've had of them, but uh, it's a quality release and it's got a lot of flavors that I think many people would like finding. Thanks for joining me. And uh, if I don't get another video out, I hope you guys have a happy Father's Day. Take care.